Hello everyone, Dr. Friend here. Today I am going to talk about a very important topic which is oils. Since we use oil every day, we should have a knowledge about oils. What are good oils, what are bad oils. Oils are divided into good and bad depending upon four points. One is stability. When you cook or when you heat, oil should be stable. The second point, reactive oxygen species that is free radicals when you cook it should not generate free radicals thing is smoke point what is this smoke point point smoke point is the temperature at which the oil loses its glistening nature and it start converted into a unstable product the fourth thing is solvents that means the chemical agents used to extract the oil depending upon these four things oil is divided into bad oils and good oils i'll give you few examples of bad oils like sunflower oil safflower oil vegetable oil corn oil canola peanut oil there are many other oils why they are bad oils because they are unstable when you cook they will not be in the stable form second thing is they will generate free radicals this free radicals will damage your tissues a third thing is smoke point after certain temperature they are converted into very unstable very different products which is harmful to your body the fourth thing is they need a chemical solvent called hexane which is very damaging to your body so these are bad oils which are unstable oils. Today I am going to tell you a seven good oils which you can use for cooking. Even if you heat or if you deep fry, it will not be converted into some other forms. That means the oil will remain stable. Let's talk about seven good oils. In this video, along with the seven oils, I am going to give you the advantages of individual oil. So keep watching till the end. Now let's begin. The first oil is coconut oil. Coconut oil it's very stable oil even if you cook deep fry like indian or pakistani cooking it will remain stable second thing is it doesn't need many chemical solvents it is very smoothly extracted third thing it has high smoke point that means if you are heating to 350 400 450 degrees celsius it will remain stable the third thing it doesn't form free radical fourth thing is it will not increase your bad cholesterol fifth thing is it will not block your arteries so you will not have chances of heart attack or stroke something like that the sixth thing is it increases HDL, that is a good cholesterol in your body. The seventh thing is lauric acid. It has 70% lauric acid, which is very good for bacteria, the unhealthy bacteria. So it is antibacterial. The eighth thing is it is very rich in phytonutrients. Phytonutrients are very much required for your hormones, for your cell membranes and everything, your nerves and everything. So it is a good source of phytonutrient. The second oil is ghee. Ghee is also a very stable oil. It has high smoke point, that means almost 400, 400 plus it has a high smoke point. Even if you do deep cooking also, it will remain stable. The third thing is, it's a very good source of omega-3 fatty acids. That means it will stabilize your blood glucose level. It will help you to overcome insulin resistance. So ghee is also preferred oil. Third oil is butter. Butter is also a very good oil. It is very stable and uh, no solvents is used for extraction. It's a natural product. Even it has high smoke point, so even if you cook for a longer time, it will not change its form. Fifth advantage of uh, butter is it is rich in vitamin D, which helps in absorption of calcium. So you will not have calcium related problems. So these are the advantages of butter. The fifth oil is olive oil. Let's talk about its advantages. It is also a stable oil, but for low to medium flame. If you are cooking on high flame, it will change its form. So it can be used in salads or it can be used for medium or low cooking. Um, it's a very good source of omega-6 fatty acid. There is a continuous inflammatory process in your body. So it is a very good anti-inflammatory. That means prevent inflammation in your body. Olive oil is also good for your cells, hormones, many other things. This palm oil. This is also a stable oil. This also you can use for deep cooking. It has high smoke points. But many people don't prefer to use palm oil. It is a very good oil. Oil is twallow. This is also a very stable and very good oil. And it is it is prepared from uh, beef fat and it is a good source of vitamin B. So guys, in this video, the take home message for you is if you want to do a deep frying like Indian Pakistani type of cooking, you can prefer coconut oil, you can prefer ghee, you can prefer butter. But for low to medium cooking, you can use olive oil. And guys, I always tell you that vegetables are good source of nutrients and minerals. It doesn't mean that Vegetable oil is also a good source of nutrient or vitamins. To extract oil from these vegetables or corn or even canola or everything, a lot of chemicals will be used, especially the hexane, which is dangerous to your body. Prone for developing insulin resistance, diabetes, obesity, high cholesterol, many other problems. So guys, try to select 
from these seven oils which I have told you today for your cooking. And if you find my video as informative, like, share and subscribe. And guys, if you have any doubt or need any information, write in my comment box. I'll try to help you. Thank you.